afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be, just filling up some water, cause dehydrated. Hydration is key, let me tell you. <laughs> How's everybody doing? There was a whole bunch of you that came in. There was Kathleen Champ and Guess Who Nancy and Pat Ada and... Uh, and, and Pat Rem, I'm gonna go from the people I see even now. And Sandra K, and hello, hello everybody. Hello Tracy Albert and uh, Karen Little. I did see Karen Little. Hello uh, Heather Deffrey Quilter. Mm -hmm. Hello Miss Sass. Good morning. Good morning. I <laughs> go on a vodka. Hello Connie. How you doing? Enjoying the sunny, windy day. It is both the sunny, windy, and it's beautiful. The door to the shop is open. And what is it in November? Hello. Not knocking it though, enjoying every single moment. Even the boys and I were sitting out on the deck for like a half an hour, 45 minutes earlier, just like taking it all in. Hello, Karen. Thank you for teaching me. I learned best by watching tutorials over and over. I'm here to, uh, in Bradford, PA. Very nice. We used to, we spent uh, four years in Harleysville, Harleysville, Pennsylvania. Hello, good morning, Miss Allison. Good morning, all to following back tonight. Yes, that's right. I forgot about that. Thanks for the reminder. Hello, Carrie Richard. Hello, hello, Chris Martin. Hello, LL Pop and all my quilting friends. I'm so glad to spend some time with you. Happy you're here. Hello, Deborah Holman. Hi, everyone. Windy, Illinois. Hello, hello. Hello, Miss Lois. Hello, Nina. Hello, hi, hello, Saturday. So, buddies, first snow yesterday in my neighborhood. Today, wind, no leaves on trees now. Uh oh. We well, still got some on the big oak in the front, but it's all brown. It's not going to last. Just a couple of big windstorms. And they'll give up. They'll give up. Hello, Lori Clark. Hello, Tracy Albert. I'm trying to enjoy today, but allergies are kidding. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Connie. Hello, Charlotte. Hi, everyone. Hello, Cindy Wall, who attracted your message. What's going on? Keeping secrets now? Huh, huh, huh. Hello, Della. She's waving. Della's waving. Hello, hello. How's Pat Ada? Hello, it's Mimi Howard. Hello, good morning, everyone, she says. This, this is a, uh, a, a, hi to everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I've missed some people, and I'm really sorry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send in a lab right now if I've missed you, and I'm sorry. Um, hello, Taylor. Uh, free pattern. It should be in the boop, boop, below. Check her out. Uh, super cute, easy gift for somebody. And if you didn't happen to like, let's, oops. Uh, can you do my controlling or you controlling? Uh, over, overhead, because I just want to point something else on this. On this, okay, there we go. Perfect. Good. Um, if you didn't want to do these as pinwheels, you can just make them flying geese. Make a flying geese going that way, flying geese going this way, or flying geese going this way, flying geese going that way. You're just gonna end up with ten geese. You don't have to do it like in the pinwheely kind of fashion. You know what I mean? So you know, options up to you. Or do a pinwheel, couple of geese, pinwheel, couple of geese. They're going. They're swirling. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, yeah, so that's what we're working on. So I've cut everything I need to cut, and I think I have marked everything I need to mark at this point. So, yeah, let's uh, let's get sewing, eh? We've got, we got a time limit here. Sass says I have only five minutes, and then I better get on it. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Allison. You should have seen that via the member project. That is the member quilts all finished and Pop is just finishing up the video and it will be announced in the video who the winner is of that beautiful project. And that is uh, part of our paid member section of our guild website. So we haven't really been promoting that too much because we were a little behind on some videos, though the project was still there to be won. It's not like you weren't going to be still winning it in the end. So, hello, oh, Pat Strawhouse. So, yes. So, and if anybody would like to get in on the next project, it's quite beautiful. It was actually just recently gifted to the quilt shop by Miss Claudette uh, with uh, very big, beautiful flowers with applique. It's, it's gorgeous. I can't wait to work on it. And that'll also be given away via our paid member guild website. Oh, hello, everybody. Oh, my goodness. We had the doors open too. Uh, two little friends came in. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, Don Faye from West California. Mm, hello, April Green. Happy anniversary to Allison and Eric. Yes, it was just uh, yesterday. No, today. Today. Yes, today. I didn't realize actually we were streaming. I, I didn't realize it was the fifth today. <clears throat> like I knew, but you know, I knew. You know what I mean? Get it all together. Hello, Valerie. What's going on? Hello, hello. Denim quilting joining from Very Breezy uh, Gr uh, Gruit. Groot? Groot Falls, Montana. Meh, Ment, 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 I'm MT Montana. 
I think, right? Hello, Linda Denton. She's she's coming and saying hello. Hello, Stitch Itch. What's going on? All right, so I didn't even turn on the machine. I didn't, I didn't. Oh, we got the cutest card from the Netherlands. Super cute. Oh, Romy was a little cranky there. <coughs> Sorry. Tickle. I want to be able to show you, but I think I'm going to have to do it via the desk cam. It is the cutest postcard. Now, if, if anybody gets a little queasy with things, just, just look away, okay? That's my, my goal is not to make you queasy, but it's a, 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 a dimensional uh, postcard, okay? So, so you've been warned. You have a moment to look away. Isn't that just the cutest? I absolutely love it. And you just watch the sailboat go past. They're walking with the flowers. They're saying hi to nature. They're just chilling out by the coast. Isn't that adorable? So it came all the way from Holland. It made the cross go the water. Look at it go. Amazing. So beautiful. I know. Absolutely love it. Yeah, so I, I tried to forewarn you because it's like, you know, if you get a little woozy with that. But it's not just like the neatest. So, and thank you very much. And she said, here, I'll go back uh, to the, there and we'll see it. Show, oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. I was, I was just going to say, we'll show the fabric. She sent a bunch of these little fabrics. Little fabric samples. Aren't they adorable? So I'm like, ooh, what can I make? So there is five there, so I thought a, a, a nice big uh, nine patch. Like a little nine patch while hanging. I think so cute. Yeah, so she sent me the, the postcard and that and a lovely note to Pop, Munchkin, Sophie, and myself. So that was that was absolutely lovely. Yeah, beautiful. Lovely. So thank you, thank you, Miss Joanne. Much, 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 much appreciated. It was so cute and, and, and lovely messages. She doesn't usually catch live streams. So send a little love Joanne's way. Big hugs, Joanne's from the Netherlands. <laughs> so, yeah, I got, some, I got some water and a little bit of iced tea. So cheers, everybody. What's going on? Hello, Miss Renee. How's it going? It is a lovely card, isn't it? Absolutely cute. I'm, I'm so, so cute. Hello, Miss Claudette. Great fall winds gusting 40 to 50 miles per hour. Oh, yeah. That's a little, that's a little cold. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. It was a little nippy coming out of the grocery store the other day, and I was like, ooh, I don't know. But then I knew it was going to be nicer for the weekend, so. Oh, cat will. Okay, so, like I said, free pattern. It should be in the uh, show more section below. I just printed it up black and white and wrote what wreath and stuff. I didn't change my color for, or I didn't, I changed my bow to a different color. And that's, that's about it. Not any of my, the pinwheels for it. But I'm thinking maybe I might change those pinwheels to geese. So we'll see. I'll lay it out. Oh, cheese Louise. You have plenty of snow. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> Soon enough here, I'm sure. But today it's like maybe 18 outside, 19, something like that. Love it when I go rogue. <laughs> Why'd you think it would look cute to, to me? Oh, oh, and talk about going rogue. I didn't even show you the, my fabrics I was working with. Talk about rebel. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What did you do with the white? All right. Which one of you? I know it's pretty. What'd you do with it? Well, there's a small sample here, but it's not what is... Oh, it's under the desk. Okay, so it wasn't any of you. It's all right. But I'm still watching. Okay, uh, so I got some pink, a nice little pink. Not that pink, but a pink. Uh, and this. So this is going to be my wreath. This is my background. And it's got white circles. 
This is my bow. I got me a purple bow. And then I've got my pink for my geese. Hey, Lori Clark, welcome to the club. Mm, mm. <laughs> Hey, D. Linda. So, yeah, these, these are my colors for my wreath. Who says it has to be anything but what you like? And this is what I like. So, that's what's going down. It's my wreath, my quilt shop. Make it the way I want. <laughs> so, yeah, so those are my fabrics. What do you think of them? Good choice? Good choice? <clears throat> oh, and, uh... Are we good for the other part? Good? Not yet? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Is that just because I said something or you were seriously on it? I was seriously on it. <laughs> That's like twice so far. <laughs> I, I'll give you, let y'all, let y'all join in on that. Hey, Michelle, craft some more. Welcome everybody, thank you so much. Hey Kathy Quilts, are you sneaking in there? Missed you before, hello Dolores, hello Alta. Welcome, welcome, nice to see you my dear. Marie France, hello. Hello Renee. Hello, hop to it Lois. Mm -mm -mm, Mr. Mike. Mimi Howard, you can't hide people, I see you now. I see you now. Oh boy, I see you. <laughs> hey Laura Austin, <laughs> welcome to the Freaky Zone. Uh, you can relax him here, he says. Just chill, people. Just chill. Hey, Lady Kopeck, how you doing? Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Let's see y'all sneakins. All you turkey lurkers out there. <laughs> yes, yeah, we got a couple giveaways. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we missed last week. Uh, she, I was just going to say, the star of the show. Thank you, Pop. Thank you, Pop. Oh, oh. what's Mama got? What's Mama got for loaves? Hey. I did give you two for nothing, right, you know. <laughs> I did give you two for free. Yes, I did. <laughs> Actually, she's got a nice big uh, beef rib waiting for her in the house that she got in one of her wolf packs. So, uh, The colors on my wreath I can use, what was it, longer than Christmas? Probably. I don't, it's just it's just a wreath, right? So, I thought make it any way I like. I want a pleasing. I want a pleasing. I'm not lurking, to Cindy. Well, <laughs> she's like, I am here to participate in this chat. I'm gonna tell people what I got going on. <laughs> oh, Katie Crafts. Oh, Cheryl. Welcome everybody. Okay, so when you all enter, I'm gonna do some sewing. Okay. Cause I don't think you came here just to chit chat, did ya? Or maybe you did. I don't know. And I, I like my walking foot. That's like my regular foot. So I just I just use that. It's just so much. I don't have to fight with things going through. And I don't have to change feet when I'm doing binding. Or doing a little bit of free motion quilting. Something like that, you know. Alright, so I've, I also have a whole bunch. I got all these to put together. Um, so I've already marked... The white side. Oh, that's bright. I'm working on it. Oh, okay. I was going to say, do you want me to adjust the wheel? Oh, oh, beautiful. There we go. So I've already marked the white side, okay? And we're just going to put it against the pink and, and so we'll just sew to one side. And we're just going to chain, chain feed as uh, as uh, efficiently as possible, okay? <laughs> Chit chat. Yes, it is, Sandra Kay. <laughs> yes, it is. But it's also been known that people will leave a chat if you, you know, you're not moving and you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. What's the point of them hanging out there if that's what their interest is, right? So. And we're a good community and they just got to give us a chance, you know. So we're, we're friendly. We got, we got, we like to share things, like to give away things. Our latest giveaway to the paid member section of our guild website is on the wall behind me. Just finished up. Pop's going to be finishing up the video and announcing the winner. If you want to 
Help out with that. You can get on for the next quilt. It's a beautiful one. It's a beautiful one. Well, thank you, Judith. Happy you're here. Hello, one love. Hello, Shirley B. What's going on, Sophie girl? She's the best. She is the best. She was so funny last night. I, I have a um, light up neck piece for her. So when in the dark, because she's she, as soon as she's off the deck and like away from around the white car, I can't see her, right? So, uh, hello. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know if they can hear me still, so I just, I don't know what I should say. They can hear me. Okay, uh, so she disappeared off the deck. Anyway, she went to go play in the front, more front, front part of our house. And I could see her bouncing around. She had a bit of case of the zoomies, so her little green lit up collar was just kind of zooming around. It was really kind of funny. If anybody was driving past, they would have probably like blinking once or twice. Uh, anyways, and all of a sudden it just stopped it's still and it was laying on the ground. I was like, oh no, she flicked it off her head. She did. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> had to go all the way out there to retrieve it. <clears throat> uh oh, what did Valerie say? <laughs> whoa, whoa. All right, so let's get all these fed into the machine. Hello, Mirna. How you doing? I'm sewing 300 snowballs today. Oh, Lori. Oh. Snowball. I got one snowball in the center. I got one snowball in the center of this one. So. Or, or, you, or is that a different kind of snowball? Are, are you doing like a snowball block? Or is it actually maybe like a snowball applique? So. Hey, Pat Straw, Pat Strawhouse. Blah, blah, blah. I was enjoying one of your uh, lovely uh, maple fudge um, pieces just before stream. It just melts in your mouth, that fudge. It's just so delicious. Oh my goodness, like one little nibble and it just like hits your tongue and just poof, gone. But it's so tasty. It's had some, it's been seriously some of my very favorite maple fudge, so thank you for introducing me to that. That was a very lovely gift. And we're about, uh, oh, oh we, no, we just tucked in, we just tucked into the bottle of maple syrup you, you left us as well, so. I had one left from Costco that I had to finish up. So that was, that. or no, no, actually I think it was a market one. It was a market one. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. I like fudge, I like fudge too. I tried to make some milk chocolate fudge the other day. Eh. I think it needs to be semi-sweet or at least a mix of semi-sweet and milk. Uh, it just didn't, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm probably, literally, guess what? Fudged it up. <laughs> I might have fudged up the recipe, even though it was like only two ingredients. Maybe I just didn't let it boil long enough or something. It was just really, really flexy. So. Hey, Jennifer Foster. How you doing? Happy Saturday to you. It's so cute. Oh, this whole, this whole project here. This is, it is, it is really, I like it. It's super cute. Like I said, you don't even have to do the pinwheels. You can make these flying geese. You do what you like. Or pinwheel geese, geese pinwheel. Party on down, whatever you like. Or do another block that you like that you can do with uh, half square triangles. So. Right. Mm -hmm. Fly through sewing them. Uh, oh, 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 oh. I missed the... Part of what it was uh, that woodpecker in the tree over my head pooped on my keyboard <gasps> oh no oh no Allison I hear it's lucky do you get extra lucky if it's a woodpecker <laughs> I don't know I heard it was you're supposed, you're supposed to count yourself lucky to get pooped on by a bird so I don't know why blessed <laughs> I get upset when I go to breakfast in Kansas and they say they have maple syrup. It's not, it's corn syrup. Based. Yeah, no, it's gotta be real maple syrup for sure. For sure. Definitely. Uh, I have, I have to agree. Uh, Lori, good luck today. You will fly through sewing. I'll fly through what? If it's just the, the, the blocks though. <clears throat> the, the snow block, uh, snow block blocks. 
No ball blocks. It's not a lot of facts. What language are you speaking? Ew. <laughs> That's yucky. I think the worst thing I've done to a keyboard was dump teriyaki sauce on it as I was literally sitting down at my table and as I laid down my plate, it actually bumped my keyboard and then right, right into my keyboard, the some of the teriyaki sauce on the plate. <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> And it was just before, like, we were going to be, like, gaming. So we were, like, just logging into uh, the, you know, for the everybody gathering together and getting all their supplies and ready to rock and roll. So I had no keyboard. Couldn't, couldn't game that night. No keyboard. Had to clean it. It was sad. <clears throat> Butter cream cheese bagel down. <laughs> Marie France. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the end of that snack. <laughs> Hummus, anyone? <laughs> Have I heard about the sure fit? In regards to what? Uh, lower than yes, the maple syrup and fudge are great. Yeah, they are. They definitely are, Pat. Like I said, those, those little fudge maples. Maple shapes. Maple fudge just so good. Oops. Well, so two together. Hello, my cool projects. Okay. Guess guess who Nancy? Are you in the are you in the chat right now? I know you were earlier, but when I saw your name for some reason I had this whole sitcom animation theme like go through right through my head i don't know i don't know why so if you're if you're here i want to show it to you <laughs> why because it can and two because i thought it was funny in my head <laughs> may not be out loud but <laughs> we'll just take that risk Jen, uh, Marie Foster, Marie, uh, Marie France. Uh, my daughter's last name is France too. I don't, I don't hear that name much here. No, no. Uh, took my meds, ate a small breakfast, and now drinking my protein orange juice. Hopefully, my sugar won't go up today. Oh, do you have a problem with that, there, Pat Ada? I do, I do have a, not a problem, but I mean something you have to actually watch. That's what I meant. I didn't mean to like. Sorry, the, the, sometimes I don't choose the best words, and I'm sorry. Um, do you need to keep an eye on that for you, for your health's sake? Hello, moldy lasagna. Yeah, that's actually part of her first name. Marie France is her, her first name, like Laura Lynn. I'm Laura Lynn. Laura hyphen Lynn. Her, her, her name is Marie hyphen France. So you have diabetes? I, I thought so. I thought so. Okay, that's one side done of the pink and the white and the purple and our main fabric. So let's go back to the beginning. We'll trim this one because it's just a little bit biggie and we'll just do this one first. We're sewing on the other line. This is actually going to get cut in half and then those squares are actually going to, uh, yeah, those squares get cut in half again and we're going to make an hourglass out of this one. All right, now we have our other set of the 20 and we're just going to flip it over and work on the other side, except we're working on the wrong end. Mm, you're cooking today for my sweetie's baby's birthday. Oh, very nice. What you making? Uh, I made homemade burgers last night. I made them up, pot barbecued them. They were fantastic. You did a great job. Um, uh, I don't know what's going on for dinner tonight. We were supposed to have them for lunch, but I munched leftover Chinese food, ginger beef. Pop had a bit of an upset tummy, so I think he just munched a bun. I'm not sure what Mun Munchkin had, um, but I know he's gaming tonight. He's very happy about that, him and his homies getting back to their, um, is it Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah, okay. 
he has a great time with his friends, and, and I'm glad they all have a good time together. A lot of them live in California, so. And it's such a four-hour time difference for him to be able to join in, right? So I feel bad for him when they start things at, like, midnight his time when it's only 8 p.m. their time, right? It's like, all right, we'll see you sometime Sunday afternoon, you know? I want him to have fun, so... We do got some plans for his space downstairs, so we're going to start implementing that and getting the pipes wrapped and stuff like that. We got, um, what is it, radiant heating? heating? Yeah. So, and we're wrapping all our pipes before we actually turn it on this year, so we're ahead of the game, considering it's been so nice out. Um, and that'll just help, help retain the heat within the pipes, uh, the hot water within the pipes, so um, definitely excited for that. L little upgrades make a big difference in the end, right? So, oh, oh, windows, proper windows arrived. We're so excited. So, hopefully, hopefully they will get done soon. Oh, if, cross your fingers, everybody. Cross your fingers and your toes. I've done prep for it. Uh, can we go to main camera for a second? Okay. I know, woohoo windows. So I've done main prep. This, this used to be like the whole shelving unit was here and I had a bunch of totes all along this whole wall leading up to the unit where uh, Eric, Allison and Kent built uh, for while they were here. The, we got a couple units. So this is all, all cleared out now, ready for them to do what they need to do. And then over on Sophie's side, you can see over here just up over here that's the other window so really all I have to do is move this couch out of the way so that's two places cleared and then the back one I just got to sh shift some stuff around really because I can't do anything about the shelving unit back there at the moment because there's electrical running through it and yeah it's a little bit a little bit hazardous and persnickety for for me to be dealing with that way so um yeah I'm so very excited I am like Please, any time now. I've been waiting since the end of June. Like, come on. And it just got, it got misordered to begin with. And then with the shortage and then Fiona and then this and then that. And it's just, that's when it, it came to today. Pop and I were out here and the truck pulled up and I was like, hallelujah. Cross your fingers, cross your toes, stick your finger up. <laughs> I'll pass on the finger up the nose part, though. <laughs> nice, though. <laughs> Do you need Sasslet to give them a deadline? Or you, you uh, give them a chat. <laughs> well, no, now that their part's been dealt with, now it's all in the, the, the guy who did the roof, so... No, he just has to book me in now. But I'm sure he's got gigs going on already. So now it's like, oh, I got to squeeze in these three windows somehow. But there's a couple other things I was hoping he can help with around here too. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so cheers, everybody. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Happy days to you. Oh, you have a silicone cover? You are so lucky. Oh my God. That's actually a good thing. I never would have thought of that. Only because you are, you camp and pine trees and leaves and everything else would fall on your keyboard. That's the only reason why I think I would probably go for a silicone one as well as being out in nature like that. Yeah, for sure. Smart. Smart. It take a while to get used to though. So, but I think I could. Hey, Pam Baker. Hi, everyone. Happy to be here. I'm happy you're here, too. She's been posting some lovely pictures of the lake and some fishing and the geese at the park. Very nice. Very nice. I've, I've enjoyed it there, Miss Pam. I was having some fond memories of us hanging out at uh, Judy's restaurant for breakfast after crossing guards, <laughs> a crossing guard shift, hanging out for a while, you know, chillaxing. And there's like, oh, all right, well, I got to get work done before my next shift. So good, good times, good times for me. 
You're in v uh, Vesalia? Oh, 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 Mr. Mike is touring California, is he? Um, it's okay to pick your nose. It's what you do with it afterwards that counts. <laughs> True. Give me the phone number. I will get on the deadline for you. <laughs> well, it's not It's not necessarily Barrett's fault at this point, right? So if, if he delays on me, even though he knows I've been waiting, I will be patient for a week or two. But after that, it's like, hello, please don't make me find somebody else after I've been so patient for so long. All right, so there's that 20 done. We're going to cut them in half, okay? And then we're going to press them. Where's our purple? Oh, it's attached. <laughs> I trimmed it off first and then I forgot I sewed it again. Duh. All right, here, let's move these pieces out of the way. Okay, so for the giveaway, you're probably like, why? Why did I enter? Could have been for a bag of fluff, people. You just never know with me. This one, there's going to be one time it is just going to be a bag of fluff. <laughs> I'm going to make sure it's just a bag of fluff. <laughs> Hold on. Where are the scissors? Oh, there's some snips. Oh, I need my little snip snips. <laughs> I am ser I'm seriously, I'm just going to be giving away a bag of fluff. Some random bits from the long arm, this and that, whatever. And then I'm going to get one of those little vacuum pack sucker thingies and it's just going to shrink down to like this little cube. And then when you open up, it's just going to expand to such a point like you can just like all the bits and bobs, you can make like a king size quilt with it or something. <laughs> oh, uh, exclamation entered enter. Exclamation entered enter. Well, hi, Chrissy. Uh, sorry, Sherry Harris. Uh, headed to Rick. Just wanted to pop in and say hello, everybody. Oh, oh hold on. I'm supposed to enter. Enter, enter. Enter, and then we're going to do a draw. Because we've got two things today. Well, I got two things today. Exclamation, enter to play. Don't make me cry. <laughs> hey, Lady Fair. How you doing? Hello, Christy. Hello, hello. If I don't enter, you, oh yeah, exactly. If you don't want to enter, you can't win. Exactly. Exactly. Hello, Janine. Hello, Lisa Jane. Guess I'm here today for a giveaway. Okay, yeah, whatever, sure. I'm just glad you're here. I'm glad you're here for a giveaway. That way we can share the day. And have ourselves an awesome giveaway. Mm -mm. Come to play. Mm -mm. It's beautiful here. Absolutely beautiful here today. And there's not a, not a complaint in sight. All right, I need to cut these though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then and, and now that I see you, as soon as you're in there, Sherry, and I see that you're in there, you must have entered before. It's not registering you. Hello, Rose. Oh, a lot snipping. I did that to my quilt yesterday. Special needs daughter helped me out. I have a little snip mom machine. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Oh, Rose is entered. There we go. Hello, Carol. Hello, Sheila. Hello, everyone. She says, exclamation, enter to enter. We're going to have to do a giveaway, like, right, like, now. No. Yeah, we got two today. So, you know, if you missed it on the first one, you still got the second. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And they, they, yep, yep. Go ahead. No. Yep, yep. Like, now. When? Like, now. Now. Really? Now. Really now. Okay. Click that button. Are you sure? I'm sure. But we have more than one. Are you serious? I'm so totally serious. Okay. <laughs> Pat Strawhouse. Has won the Oops I Missed It giveaway. Oops I, what? Who's the Oops? oops? I missed it. Oops. I wasn't there for it. Oh. <laughs> You weren't there for it. <laughs> hey, Pat. <laughs> Pat Strauss, if you're still in the chat. Yeah, I'm giving away a bag of fluff. Exactly. Miss Pat Strauss. I know we were just chatting about fudge, but, you know, she, she may take it off. She's got stuff to do, you know. I know. People are busy. Oh, Betty. Little Della. Congratulations, Pat. Yeah, here, exactly. Here's hoping she responds and we don't have to pick another winner. Hello, Valerie Creech. 
Pat, where are you, Pat? I'm seeing your name. I'm wondering where you're at. Where are you, Pat? Where are you, Pat? She's going to be so sad she missed out. She's going to cry and she's going to pout. <laughs> yes, please respond. Somebody call her. Anybody have her number? <laughs> Do you have my number? No, it's like, Pat, we don't have your number. We can't call you on the phone. Tell you that you want a fluffy zone. <laughs> oh, there we go. Woo! Okay, so I knew you did. I knew within my heart you needed a bag of fluff. Mm-hmm, exactly. Actually, it's not a bag of fluff. Woo! You got in there. You got in there. Okay, so... The other Friday video, we did like a chenille um, project. We should probably change the name of the video for that because we probably get more hits. But So I did two pumpkins, okay? Can we go to overhead for a moment? Sorry. I did two pumpkins. So one was this way where I did it with the... Um, uh, ba -da -ba -da, fraying the... Oh my gosh, I'm brain farting here. Somebody's going to say it. Anyways, and then the other one I did, did just with the straight. I didn't clip it. I didn't clip it at all. So which one of these would you like? You get to pick. I promise to trim it up. And just so you know, if you pick this one, I'm doing this to that. <laughs> just say, yeah. Yeah, but what's this one though? It's a oh, rag quilting, like rag, rag cut, because you cut it, like because I, because I, I, I trimmed it and then I cut it, right, to give it that, that, little funky texture with all those layers of fabric in there and all the color. So, so which one would you like? Yeah, it's like a rag quilt chenille mix. It's really a combination. I did two two different things on the same, well, for this part. But if she just likes the chenille one then that's fine. But if she likes the rag, then that's fine too. So I just wanted, she can pick which one she likes. So. <laughs> yeah, hurry, Pat's here. I know. I thought she was going to miss out. I was like, <gasps> come on, Pat. Hello, friends. I hope you're do all doing well today. I'm trying new techniques where I sew everything without my bobbin. <laughs> Um, can I ask how that's working out for you? <laughs> Too funny. So where'd she go? She disappeared. Are you deciding? I'll give you time to decide. Hey, Jane Ritchie, exclamation, enter to enter. I got one more giveaway to go. I got more, more pieces to split and iron here. So let's, let's get cracking. What do we add here? 39? Okay. Got things to do, places to go, people to see. Actually, seriously, no. But we do need to make some progress. <laughs> let's let's try, and get, try and get this project done at least half decently timed. Uh, my next um, uh, task for the next, uh, till Christmas, is really to find something you could make somebody on a weekend. You can make a weekend gift. Like it's just within a couple of hours. You can make two or three of them if you're cutting them out at the same time. Make it an easy, not necessarily maybe super easy, but at least maybe a quick gift for somebody that's unique. And you can get, instead of making a big quilt project or, you know, a bunch of uh, uh, placemats and table runners or whatever, do something like this one, which is only 17 and a half by 20 and a half fantastic right it's a fantastic size to to give away as a gift for someone and you don't have to do more than that you know if they like wine or chocolates fantastic toss that whoop let me go dork uh toss that into the package but you know sorry oh where is my paper towel Clean up on aisle five. It's okay. Just a little bit of water, it's all right. 
Uh, I really like the cut version. Sorry for the delay. My stream was lagging. Yes, I saw the pumpkin video. It's good. So the cut one? So this one? Okay, good. Because I seriously, I'm doing it to this one. If this is what I figured, if this one was going to be left for me, I'm doing it the same thing. So we're going to have matchy ones there, Pat. We're going to have matchy ones. Okay, perfect. Yay. Thank you. It was so fun. And like, why not? Right? And these were batik, so it's not going to fray a lot, but it's so tactile. Make it as a pillow, side of a Halloween bag, whatever. We did a whole video on it. It was one of the Friday videos. I think we called it fabric art, but I think I think we might change the name just to get a few more people interested in it because of the chenille and, and um, um, whatever the other, rag quilt. So, okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you liked my idea. Mom how to deal with it or have some fun with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll bring you a bag of love. <laughs> Lori, nice. She's got you covered. Yeah, there's two winners today. We haven't drawn the second one yet. And there's, there's a, uh, there's, there's something else from the, the weekend, week, week before, the other pumpkin project. I made two, so I'm happy to give one away. And you get to pick which one you like. You get to choose. Okay, so that's my bow tie. My bow tie for my, uh, well, once I cut them again. but And now we're just going to press these. They're very light tones, both of them, but I still am going to uh, push to the pink. Okay. Yeah, we'll still do another draw. Yeah, we like to share. I like making one for me and one for you. I like to share. And this is such a cute little pattern too. Like this one here. And, and free, and free. Should be in the uh, show more part. So check that out. There's a bunch, a bunch of free patterns on that website. We'll be probably tackling at least one or two more on that site itself. And then I have a few uh, from on others. Uh, some is bordering out Christmas panels, you know, how to do it in, you know, in a creative way. So we'll have lots of fun. We'll try and do, just focus something different on every, every weekend. We do, Pop has a, a birthday stream and I have a birthday stream because we are five days apart. So his is, we'll celebrate his on the 19th, and then mine is actually on my birthday this year, which is the 26th, so. So be sure to hang out with us, and I'm not sure what we're doing those specific days. I didn't want to book anything uh, specific, like, craft work-wise, as it is our birthday stream. Maybe we just want to hang out, put a puzzle together, just chat, or, you know, talk about food. Because <laughs> that's always a lovely topic of conversation. <laughs> Hello, Miss Deborah. How you doing? I was meaning to ask, have you ever got your iron fixed? Nope. Hey, quilting with Stephanie Stitches. The lovely Stephanie Stitches. She was with the guy who sews this morning, Mr. Sean. He's such a lovely feller. You guys look like you were having some fun. I had to go and putter and get some stuff done. Like, you know, unload the dishwasher, load the dishwasher, possibly get a load of laundry on, which I never did get that part. But, you know, I got sidetracked by, okay, come out to the shop, make sure I get my spaces all cleaned up. Oh, look, I have to vacuum. Oh, look, this is in the way. And like, oh, look, windows are coming. <laughs> so I kind of got sidetracked. Yeah, uh, exclamation enter to enter. We got one more giveaway today. We got a pumpkin to give away. I mean, that's if you want something homemade, artsy, fartsy from Made From Me. I mean, if you don't want it, then don't enter it. I mean, that's that's going strictly up to you. Or a bag of fluff. I mean, you just never know what you're going to get here. And just so you know, every bag of fluff has been thoroughly loved and enjoyed. And now it's your bag of fluff to thoroughly love and enjoy. All right, now we need to trim these guys up. Trim them up. 
Like, does it actually say square them up or anything in the pattern? Probably not. Okay, uh, here, hold on, let's read. <laughs> I know it's new. It's new. Um, it's a new thing for me. Okay, so we are going to put them together. The offsetties. There we go, Zs. And then we're going to use our handy dandy little quarter inch seam allowance ruler on the diagonal. I'm making sure our seams are snuggy wuggy together. Let's put a pin here. And a pin here. Oh, thank you, Diane. I appreciate that. I really do. Lady Fair, of course we want your fabric. Well, thank you. <laughs> that actually means a lot. <laughs> we had fun too, introverts hanging out. So I know, it's a great time, right? It was a great time. That's fantastic. He's such a nice guy. I've been kind of like prep a, prepping a box of like goodies to, to mail him. Him and Ian. So, just was trying to share some love. You know. Okay, so marking on either side. We're going to sew on these lines and then cut in between. Okay. And this is going to help make our um, bow tie here, that little part right there. Okay. You're so talented. Everything you make is so nice. Who went, aw, well, thank Pat Bowman. Why well, exclamation enter to enter then? <laughs> Actually, I would love to win a bag of fluff as I'm making... Ne necro pillows for Christmas gifts and got about a dozen to do. Neck neck rolls? Oh really? Oh. Well where are you, Cynthia? <laughs> Let me see if I can get my hands on a vacuum sucker. Let's see if I can get you, you hooked up with a bag of batting. <laughs> it was it was fun, Miss Allison. They were working on some projects. Just more more general chat than everything else, you know, which is really kinda nice. So Hello, Miss Joanne West. How you doing? How you doing today? Boop, boop, boop. Bag of fluff is on your way. No. <laughs> what does the bag of fluff look like? I got some decisions to make. Sorry, what? Oh, I did totally. Thank you. Thank you so much. Big hugs to you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thanks. Uh, all right. Uh, does it say, actually, to square these up? Hold on. Yes. I'm sorry, what was that, honey? 205 to the next 12 hours. 205 to the next 12 hours. <gasps> Do you guys want to know what we're going to be working on for the 12 hours? And you know what? Just so you know, when we get there, when we get that 205, it gets picked on the most popular choice time zone on a boat of where we're going to do the 12 hours. I'm very flexible on this. I practice my ninja skills. I'm very flexible on this. And we're going to be working on... Disappearing skills. Okay, go overhead. Uh, it's a two color quilt. It has maple leaves and turtles. Turtles. And we will be giving it away to one of you guys quilted. Your choice. At the end. At the end. Like you have to you have to win the top first and then we talk about it. And then I I, I finish up off to the way you like. I mean, can? Okay. Yeah, and they'll finish off with whatever backing you like, batting you like. I got several choices here at the shop. How you want it quilted, what kind of quilt thread you want. So yeah, that's our big 12 hour giveaway. We're gonna work on that and give it away. Yeah, so just need 205 to get there, baby. I'm super excited. Yeah, thumbs up, baby, thumbs up. 12 hours on your birthday? I do 12 hours on my birthday. No problem. No problem with that at all. I don't know, you'll be older then. I'll be older then. Really? My... We're supposed to square up to two. No, that was just to finish up my iced tea. Huh. Will there be cake? <laughs> I'm hoping. I'm hoping there'll be cake. Okay, so it looks like if we just nip off 
If we just nip off our ears, we're good. Okay, so let's nip off our ears. Let's grab our beautiful Laura Austin scissors. <laughs> Older and wiser. Well, some would say. Now we're gonna make a mess. Okay, all right. Tuck in, tuck in for the long haul. For we got to, we got to trim up these. Okay, so take a deep breath. Go grab a tea. Go trim them up. And then we'll sew the rest of the bow together, and then get the the sides done. Got the the bulk, the the big part here is those half square triangles. At least those are all sewn to get sewn together and separated. No, it's just nip off their tails. Chocolate cake. Oh, you betcha. Well, definitely for pop. I haven't decided what kind of cake I want this year. Hello, Miss Natalie J. Welcome to the chat. That looks like it will be fun to make. It is, actually. I think I think it will be. Especially with those maple leaves and then the turtles. Oh, my goodness. I love turtles. I love turtles. At one point in time in my wee little life, I wanted to be a marine biologist. And then I figured it out between grade 11 and grade 10 and grade 11, I failed miserably at biology and it clearly wasn't the way for me. <laughs> Therefore, moving on. <laughs> Next option. Let's go work in the retail business. You seem to have a chipper attitude for it. <laughs> hey, you know, the, if anybody who's around here knows long enough how, 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 what the policy is for the chocolate cake. Maybe Pop will type it out because then, you know, like it's for reals. What's the policy for the chocolate cake? You know, policy eight, number one contract is one shall not make a chocolate cake to go unless one chocolate cake is to stay, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, Miss Lois, thank you. Big hugs. That means we're under 200. We're under 200 to the 12 hours. One eight, nice, 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 nice. 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Aussie time would be a dream, but not much for, I don't care. I would do it. I would do it, Sass. I totally would do it. I don't care what time the zone we're doing it. We're just, we're going to be doing it. Let's get this party started. <laughs> She's like cheering in the background. She's so sweet. I love that. <laughs> Pop won't cheer. I won't cheer either. I can see just Pat Ada stomping her foot. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, Miss Pauline Fru, we got a giveaway today! Exclamation, enter to enter! Oh, even close, <gasps> oh, Anonymous just tipped 40! Thank you so much! Oh, you gotta make that poll out. You gotta make that poll out. Well, at least you didn't say you gotta get that poll out. <laughs> I gotta get that. You gotta get my dancing poll out. Oops, sorry. That's for OnlyFans. Um, <laughs> kidding! I'm kidding! Oh my gosh, please don't take me serious. Cancelled. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get the pull out for you. You can have all my chocolate cake. I'm severely allergic to chocolate. For re really, wonder what it is about it, Miss uh, Moldy, that uh, you're allergic to. <laughs> I knew that would make Sass laugh. <laughs> Do buddy. I always had to do with my brothers were at home when taking uh, when taking cake somewhere. Always had to make extra desserts for uh, no kidding, bays always. If I decided because you know working in the retail business, there was a couple a lot of kids I worked with that if they were doing their job right, uh, I would reward when I came to work. I'd bring big goods and I would share with the kids that I'm working with, right? So, you know when you're working in the evenings, you're dealing with a lot of kids, you know. So uh, to not, I didn't want to just be their crossing guard or their supervisor. I wanted us to get along together and be able to communicate well together. And therefore, bribing them with sweets was one of the key things to do. Because <laughs> it, it's surprisingly, you, you get a lot more information if you're bringing cookies, you know, and, and, you know, and dealing with stuff that way, right? And they're more inclined to talk to you about certain things that aren't going right. So you can kind of deal with them earlier instead of later, right? So... But yeah, I always, and I would make things for them. I'm like, oh, so-and-so's birthday today. I want to make sure there's some 
um, you know, I'd figure out what their favorite cookie was and I'd make them a batch of their favorite cookies. And I'd bring some to share with everybody else, but they also had like two dozen to go home with as a gift, right? So, but I'd also share with all the rest of the staff so they can enjoy cookies with them, but didn't they didn't feel that they needed, needed to share the cookies they were given. <laughs> Because I'm like, hey, wait a second. It, you, know, you know, you gotta share your goodies every time you get them. What's the point of that? No, I get I get two two dozen myself, and then you know the rest you guys share whatever's left over. <laughs> Black forest cake, thin carrot, very nice. Twenty dollars for both. Oh, 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 thank you, Jane Ritchie. Big hugs to you. Hello, Roxanne. How you doing? Be right back. She says, okay, all right, we'll be here. At least I think we will. Chocolate and I are involved. Evening, everyone. Is it new starting time? Uh, no, not yet. Tonight we fall back, right? Mm -hmm. to yeah, tonight we fall back. So next Saturday would be technically not not new to us, but maybe new to everybody else. So. Okay, we're almost done this part. Kathleen Davis brought us another $20. Oh my goodness, you guys, thank you so much. Away. We're only $100 away? Yes. No. Yes. <gasps> you guys are amazing. Only $100 away from the next 12 hours. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we got a time change today. Actually, I think it was uh, Allison that uh, reminded me to, uh, at the beginning of stream today, actually. I probably would have remembered later, but... It would only been as I was waking up and it'd be like the microwave and the oven didn't change time, but my phone changed time, and then I'm looking at one and looking at the other for that flat fraction of a second as I flick on the kettle to have a cup of tea. What actually time is it? Fraction of a second? <laughs> fraction of a second, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Fraction of a second. Hey, give myself some sort of kudos there, Bob. <laughs> a fraction of a second. Okay, maybe a second. <laughs> really? Really? All right. I like this new setup. You can hide. You can hide? Yeah, you hide behind oh, monitors. No. Look out. <laughs> Screen. What? Not whoa. 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 Thank you so much, whoever you are. You guys are amazing. You're gonna make me cry. Stop it. Stop it right now. <laughs> okay, so I will put up a poll on the YouTube channel very soon after the uh, stream today, after I get my computer working again. Okay, Pop says he's gonna put up a poll on the YouTube channel later today once he gets his computer back up he, he redid his old office spot in the house thank you everybody oh my goodness this is going to be so amazing oh and uh yeah so you, the the sooner you vote on that the better we and then we can oh uh, thank you miss donna Fay. oh she's she's in for the next one she's helping for the next one thank you guys so much Oh, thank you, Charlotte. Oh, my gosh. You guys are amazing. Thank you so, so much. Big hugs. Big, big hugs. Don't make me cry. Too late. We got someone to do. Thank you. It really does mean a lot. All right. Get a grip, Lauren. Get a grip. Well, you got you got two votes your way there, Sass. Mike's gonna vote Australia time, <laughs> and it'll be from nine to nine, like we normally do, wherever that time zone is. It'll be nine to nine. Thank you, everybody. I'm sorry. You sappy face. You broke her. <laughs> Pop says you broke me. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's not nose punk. <laughs> and we're $143 to the 
one after this. I'm sorry. I don't mean to make you cry. You just guys are so awesome. Appreciate it so much. I got I got my windows. Now I can pay for them to get in. <laughs> amazing. You guys are amazing. Okay. So there's our little bow. Don't you know? So I didn't realize you made two. You made two out of this. Interesting. Oh. Thank you. You guys are awesome. I love you guys too. I really appreciate it. You got, you really, I don't even know if you guys know. Okay, so we got our piece here for our bow. Okay, and I think we need to make sh shoopsies. Make shoopsies? Maybe not make shoopsies. I think shoopsies is a long one. Okay, yeah, we got these to do. Yeah, okay. Because, okay. Sorry, my nose is running again. I apologize. I can't help it. Cheers, everybody, to the next 12 hours. Not today. Oh. <laughs> yeah, not today. <laughs> Sit to the next, not today. <laughs> oh, is Miss Ellie here? Oh, is she here? Oh, hello, Miss Helly. How you doing, sweetie pie? All right, so we need to uh, sew down these guys to make four half square triangles. So we're making the outside of our wreath at this point in time. We're making these little guys out here, okay? The outside corners. <laughs> yeah, 24-hour stream. I don't know if I can make a 24-hour stream. I have to be charged up, you know, Mike. Oops, I think I put the mark on the wrong side on this one. I did. That one was the... This one was wrong. Way to go, dork. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Re remark, and hopefully it doesn't go show up on the other side. It shouldn't, because those are so lines. So, we shouldn't be seeing them at all. Okay. Oops. Now we're making those half-square triangles to go on the outside of our wreath. We made all our tiny ones to make our pinwheels and or our uh, flying geese. So if it was your choice, would you make the geese or would you do the the pinwheel? Pinwheel. You do the pinwheel? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. That's what the pattern is for. Oh, well. Did you hear that? Pop said we, he'd do it because that's what the pattern says. Don't you? Following the pattern. Why are we gonna do that? Pinwheel? Me too, geese. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy Provis. I appreciate that. That is the Paid Guild member uh, quilt project just finishing up. We just finished the, the video for it. Uh, Pop just has to uh, toss in a couple more edits and the winners, the winner name, and then they get to chat with me about how they want it all quilted up because they want it for being a paid guild member of our website and it is greatly appreciated that support and it's you get the videos for uh early and uh you get a chance to win the project we're working on with an extra video it's not usually monthly though but it uh we do we do get there as soon as when we can and we're always giving something away so we gave the royal ring uh, quilt away last time, and it's this one is Eastern Skies. It's uh, one of my designs. And if you guys want to get in on trying to uh, be part of the paid guild member section, uh, there's a website you can go to and sign up at a certain level and get the, like I said, the videos early and that extra video with the chance to win the project. Hope Miss Hallie is good today. All right, now we have this. 
All right, let's press these guys, and I think we got to square them up to six. Six or five and a half. I mean, it might be five and a half. Okay. Hey, Lee Allen. Uh, hi, all. A bit late. We're having a giveaway today, so exclamation enter to enter. Exclamation enter to enter. Exclamation enter to enter. If you would like to win a stuffed little pumpkin. Exclamation enter to enter. All right, then I forgot about the summer. Oh, that's okay, sweetheart. No worries. It's okay. We, we changed tonight. So we'll be all back on normal schedule next week. Okay. Next week we'll be back whatever it is that everybody else is at. Because we, we do that shindiggy tonight. That shindiggy tonight. Okay, we got... So we're working on this, actually. Uh, over here. Oh, I can push that. Okay. We're working on this. It's a free pattern. It's in the link below. Uh, these are, I chose to not choose color because I didn't think I needed it. It's only three pages. Two are the instructions and the put together. So super easy, or actually one really of the instructions and the put together. Uh, and the one is the cuts. So, and I chose to use two, one color as this, oh no, I did purple for my bow and then something else. So I really colorful, really, really colorful. Um, um, wreath. Sorry. Brain fart in there. Yeah, so I think it needs to be five and a half. Hold on. Let's make sure here. Arrange the... Oh, no, no, no. Back here. Back here. Trim these half square triangles to five and a half. Okay, so let's do this first. Five and a half, five, five and a half. I never felt so free. E -e. Five and a half for you and me. That's how square we'll be. <laughs> Five and a half for you and me. It better be. That's what the pattern says. You better follow the pattern. That's what Pop says. That's what pattern says. That's what I mean. <laughs> Just teasing him. Hello, Wanda. What's going on from Augusta, Georgia? Miss Wanda's here. Everybody cheer. Miss Wanda's here. I'm happy to see you. Happy Saturday. Hello, Miss Craft a Simple Life. Hello, Paula Whedon. Yes, make sure exclamation enter to enter. I got another giveaway. I got another giveaway. Giveaway. that one I've had uh, a Randy Travis song stuck in my head yeah hey yeah you betcha Tracy oh, she knows <laughs> American hero that was such a good show man let me tell you I love that song I was so addicted to that song I like that song better than the show same with the theme music to the first five seasons or six seasons of Enterprise with Scott Bakula. Fantastic music intro. And then the last season, they went screwed it all up. <laughs> it's horrible. They didn't want to even listen anymore. <laughs> no, you shouldn't have to enter again if you, go, you got in there the first time there, Miss Allison. Outside Saturday market, bought too many treats and not enough vegetables. <laughs> I won't tell anybody. I won't tell anybody. No, no judgment here. Uh, I guess the only question I have is, do you have some for all of us? <laughs> and, and I'm sure you're, we're okay if you share. <laughs> hey, Nancy, how you doing? Welcome to the club. Show Mama Pop uh, some hearts. Give Aw, thank you, Lisa. Big hugs to you. Thank you, thank you. All right, this is coming up to five and a half. Let's just trim her. Trim her a bit. All right, now we should be able to lay out. Oh no, I forgot my center. Well, well, here's my center. There we go. Now we got, for my white, I got to snowball it with my background fabric. So I'm making a wreath, but it's out of pink and 
black and purple and white. <laughs> Think back, purple, white. Yep. All right, so I'm going to put one of these in each corner, and then, and then we should be able to at least make our wreath. And then we can make our little pinwheels and or geese, whichever you choose. Okay. Oh, thank you, Jane Ritchie. We were just talking about this in the paid guild member section of our website. There you go. You get a chance to win all the quilts we work on. I usually work on two, if not three, quilt projects a year. And you got to think the average cost of a quilt and all the labor that goes into it with the time and the long arming and the background and the backing and the batting and everything else like that and the thread. Yep. <coughs> to you to you guys for helping us out every month. With your continued support, you, you, you get, um, like I said, videos early and a chance to win the project we're working on. We've had many winners in the chat. From just said such things. Miss Donna Fay uh, was the last winner of the purple purple royal ring, the one of Pop's designs. Pop designed a quilt, and the only one who got it was Miss Donna Fay. When you have to see the musical Jersey Boys, you'll love it. Oh yeah, I just heard about the Four Seasons group a couple of days ago. I didn't even know. Didn't know the name, but boy, do I love, know their songs. Love, yeah, <laughs> four seasons are pretty good. They got some. They got some good music. I like the pinwheels rather than the flying geese. Well, we're gonna do it the way Pop says. So we're gonna do it with the pinwheels. So, but you could. The, you know, the option is yours, right? You know, you you could do whatever you like. You could do your own little pinwheel pattern. Do a zigzag. Okay, so we got all those down. Now we're just going to clip those off and then press out. Okay, and that's our snowballed center for the uh, our week. They're making musical ears. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's let's just trim. Guesstimation on the estimation of the trimination. Uh, you'd be surprised. We somewhere it always comes back around. Miss Miss Sass never thought she was going to win, and she's been part of our channel for like five years, if not more. And she just won a couple weeks ago, so she won a bag, and I personalized it for her too. So okay, now we're just going to make sure we are five and a half on this guy with our little hangouts of our fabric. So I'm using the white as my reference and lining it up on the five and a half and then smoothing it out on the other edge wherever it may be a little persnickety. Okay, do, do, do. okay now let's lay this baby out. Lay this baby. Oh, I gotta trim this one too. Sorry. <laughs> this has got to be five and a half. Okay, so that's a bit much. You see, you see that difference? Uh, oh, right. You see that difference? Here's the five and a half line, right? So if I just were to butt this one up over here on the five and a half, look where my center is supposed to be. That's where my center kind of sh should be sort of thing. Oh, well, actually really right here. So really what we need to do is put it on the center of the five and a half, right? And trim and then come around and trim and trim, making sure that this stays as that hourglass shape and stays to be a five and a half, okay? So we're going to do one side at a time. Okay, so now I'm going to come over here and switch to that. This is the side I just cut. This is the side I just cut. So I'm now moved it over to this side. I'm putting my ruler right up here. I'm buttoning it on that raw edge at five and a half. My center is right where it needs to be. And I'm trimming off this side. And I'm just going to do the same for the other two. So now I have a perfectly square hourglass. Because the last thing you would want is it to be cut off and then shifted over to the side. What sort of bow tie is that going to make for your wreath? You like some drunk blue butt baboon did it, so don't don't be doing that. And who knows how talented with sewing machines blue butt baboons are? You just don't know until you give them the opportunity. Right, right. 
Alright, let's put it together. Okay. Oh, isn't that a pretty wreath? Let's turn her out a little bit so you can see her. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. Okay, this would make a nice block just for a pillow. You know what I mean? You don't have to do all the flubby flubs up around it. But that would be adorable. That would be cute. Totally cute. See, just like that is laid out just the same. I love it. I love the colors. I thought, let's go crazy today. Don't grab Christmas colors. Grab something that's not even Christmas colors. And just, just play with color and have fun. Right? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's awesome. Soapy Loki's all sleeping. Okay, now we're just going to sew uh, the rows together. Okay. Thank you for changing the back, honey. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it, Brenda? Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Appreciate it. It is adorable. It is adorable, isn't it, Patty? Patty, yo, yo, Patty. All right, am I doing this right? I am, okay. For a second there, I had a brain fart. It was like, whoa, what, what side should I be sewing on? Vodka cheers. <laughs> nope, just water. Do you need some refreshed? Do you want topped up? No, no you're fine. Uh, you've got me thinking that would make a good neighbor present. I know, not on the list yet. <laughs> just a nice little quick little block. Even if it's just... You can even border it out with maybe just even like a two and a half or you don't even necessarily have to put the pinwheels or something. Super quick, get a couple of those done. Even if you did for them as like a placemat substitute sort of thing, not a substitute, but they would be a placemat. You can make them into a placemat. So, I mean, there's that option too. Like, why not? The only limitation is your imagination. I'm back. Did you draw my name? No, we haven't drawn it yet. Yet. We'll get a little bit closer to finishing this project before we draw, draw the last one. And I thought you had enough bag of fluffs on your own. <laughs> you want some Canadian fluff? <laughs> yes, exactly, Miss Helly. Type exclamation, enter the enter. <laughs> And I only want the people who really want to be here, be here. I don't, I never, I never try to, unless like it's like maybe a 12 hour, but like it's a giveaway in the title, like, you know what I mean? So I only want the people who really want to be here to be here. Not, not the people we don't, you know, that don't really hang out very much and don't enjoy us. And we don't want them here. We want the people who enjoy us and we enjoy them. I saw the musical a few years back and thoroughly enjoyed it. My daughter who was in her 20s loved it too. Which musical was that one? Uh, hold on, uh, Father always listened to radio programs called the Oldies, and I heard most of their, but I was, it's, it's a good sound. It's very catchy, and uh, it makes you want to dance. Makes you want to dance. Do ya, do you want to dance? Got to work? No? No drawings until I get back? Okay, all right, well, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Who show are you running? Jersey Boys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love good, love good Jersey Boy. It was one of the ones I wanted to see in Toronto. And I don't do well with crowds, and I don't do well with a lot of people. But I I would have, would have went to see them. Yes. I'll claim it for you. <laughs> All right, so there is uh, the top part, and we just need to put the rows together. So let's give it a little quick little press. Okay, let's give it a press. Get those little pieces, make sure we're doing this right. Okay, let's try and, let's try and do this as right as possible. Okay, 
That looks so pretty. I like the textured fabric I use, like that white on white with the little circles and then the little spar, I don't know, like it looks like confetti and fireworks and looks like just a really good time party. That fabric, the pink with the batik. So, good time party fabric. There, there we go. Nice, nice. And just got here. When am I doing, uh, going to win when you jump in? Oh, a bag of fluff, Janine. Bag of fluff. <laughs> uh, next Saturday, my girls and I are going to see Hamilton. Can't wait. Nice. Nice. Excellent, Ms. Lois. You'll have to share your adventure with everybody. And not just any old fluff. Not just any old fluff, Janine. Canadian fluff. The best kind of fluff there is. If we know about fluff, it's fluff. Made in China. <laughs> no. <laughs> Big bag of fluff. Exactly. Cindy Wall has been trying all afternoon. <laughs> she wants that bag of fluff. She don't care where it's from. <laughs> yeah, I would have been totally singing along the whole time. I hate when someone wins a giveaway and say... And, and say this is my first time because I seen you were having a giveaway and they won. That is not really fair. That's exactly why I don't do it, Linda. That's exactly why I don't do it. I want the people who are here on a regular basis that enjoy our channel and are not here just for a giveaway to be the winners. That's why we don't put it in the side. Yeah, we may have more views if we do that. We may have more people in the chat, but that's not the point. I'm over quality, over quantity. I'll take quantity like a past quantity at any point in time over the quality of the stream and the chat. So, but that's just me. Woo, hi, whoa, bye bye. Where'd he go? Uh, the, the big guy on my sewing machine. Hanging out on top. Okay, bye. Go, go. I'm not hanging out while you're there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't need a wasp sting. <laughs> he knows all of a sudden. My goodness. It was a, a wasp, a big wasp, too. Uh, thank you, Janine. I was one of the ones I designed for our paid guild member section of our guild website. It's, uh, we've just, uh, um, we're we're, we're uh, finishing up the video and announcing the winner. Well, these are people of help help. Uh, yeah, wasps. Exactly. <laughs> um, definitely uh, in, uh, in in my vicinity and on on my machine. So I was getting out of here. Yeah. So if you're uh, interested in becoming a uh, paid guild member, uh, please please check out that. Uh, website and sign up so you can get entered into the next project which is a stunning big flower project it's gonna be beautiful I can't wait to give it away oh oh this is so cute oh my goodness I'm so glad I chose these fabrics hello Marguerite how you doing I'm going to have company oh well that was that clearly the wasp showed up so that was my company <laughs> Hey, Sonia Johnson. I haven't seen you in a while. Happy you're here. Isn't it gorgeous, Janine? It's going to make a fantastic wreath. Not not the usual Christmas wreath, but uh, you know why? Why does everything have to be Christmas colors? Why can't I just make a nice, pretty wreath and put it up, and it can be whatever I want it to be? I'm not saying I don't like Christmas colors. I love Christmas colors. I love green. Green's one of my favorite colors. But I just thought I would make something different and unique with a with the with, with the same pattern, same same principle. So just have just have fun with it, right? Oh, that's cute! And then our our nice little purple bow. Look at that! That's beautiful hourglass. Look at that point! Look at that point! My mom will be so proud. Beautiful. Oh. Okay, so I have a question. Is your wreath go this way or does your wreath go this way? Pe 
patting her. Yes, I am patting my. Because <laughs> I've seen it. Some people have it this way, and some people have it this way. And even in the pattern here, if you look, if you look at at the picture, overhead for a second. Yeah, thank you, sir. It's at the top, and in the design, it's at the bottom. Like. It wouldn't matter if they just put it that way on the image, right? So, bottom, 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 yeah, bottom on top, bow on bow on top. See, it does, it, I guess it depends on where you're from. So, where y'all from, huh? <laughs> Isn't that cute? And then we have, we got our little pink pinwheels. We're going to be making some pink pinwheels. Okay, let's get on it. Let's get on it. I think I, we've only got the pinwheels to do, put some stripes on, and then Bob's our uncle. We are done, D-O-N-E. And that, is not, didn't, that did not take very long at all. Would have been a lot faster if it wasn't so chatty chat, but that's okay. Sometimes you just got to be the chatty chat, you know. <laughs> or maybe you don't know. <laughs> Hold on. Here, here. So I'll make them into the pinwheels because that's what Pop, Pop would like to follow the pattern. But you can do it any way you like. You do what's good for you. I need to go on for another hour. I need my fix. <laughs> oh, Miss Helly, I had the most lovely little postcard. Well, gift card. A card, sorry. Uh, from from uh, Holland, the, the Netherlands. I'm going to see if it'll work in here. Check that out. If you're a little woozy by 3D-ness, look away. Oh, it's also blurry. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get a little closer so they could actually see it. Isn't that just the cutest little card? Oh my gosh. I just love it. I just love it. So amazing. Came from Joanne. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. No, it's not from Annie O. No, it's, her name was Joanne. Uh, and, she, and she sent along five uh, bits of fabric too. And I'm going to turn them into a nine patch. Aren't they cute? They're so beautiful. I love the colors. love the little flowers on them. They're so pretty. So I don't know if she runs a, you know, in a lovely note for, for Pop, Munchkin, Sophie, and myself. A lovely little note. So isn't that pretty? So I'm going to turn them into a nine patch. Do some little art project with it. Isn't that pretty? So beautiful. So beautiful. All right, so what do we got here? We got one, two, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, five little sets of the same little thing. That's what we're going to do. Or five little sets of the same little thing, and that's what we're going to do. Okay. Sandra, I love how you make all your projects new. Well, uh, uh, well I'm just, uh, I don't know if I make them seem new. Well, I guess I do make them seem new, but there's definitely prep work. And if you take the proper steps, uh, your projects hopefully will turn out to the the benefit benefit of your to the project right you just follow the rules quarter and seam allowance squaring up i have to tell you something i went hunting today cloth hunt and i bought so much stuff <laughs> a big hole in my wallet oh no marguerite oh no <laughs> one two three four i need five five of these I uh, will not enter for a while to give others a chance. By the way, bow on the top more often than on the bottom. I make lots of libraries. Oh, very nice. Okay, that's interesting to know, Kathy K. Okay. Why not enter? Why not enter? What's wrong? Why not enter? Cheers, everybody. Just water. Nothing too exciting, I sure you. So now we want this one, and this one, all right, of course we do. Down and up, yep.
Yeah, made homemade hamburgers last night. Um, Pop barbecued them up, and they were really good. So I don't know what we're doing. We, we could have them for just leftovers tonight. I mean, it's not a, not a big deal, but or we could save them for lunch tomorrow and have something else for dinner. What's everybody else having? Because we got whole chicken or chicken pieces for tomorrow night. Uh, our chicken pieces from my own homegrown chickens. put our one set together. You okay there, huh? Mm -hmm. Chicken something, not sure yet, no? Uh, we are doing tacos tonight. I, uh, Munchkin wanted tacos the other day. I just, I wasn't feeling it. Last time I had tacos, my tummy got really upset and I actually got sick. So I kind of didn't want no taco taco for a little while, while. So thanks, dear. Appreciate it. I just want to kind of press my first set and then I'll work on my second set. Okay. So. Roasted chicken pot pie. Ooh, we, I, uh, I got, I picked up a couple of, um, chicken pot pies that were, uh, on sale uh, yesterday for uh, that's why I uh, cooked up for for uh, lunch. So uh, I thought it was a good deal. I think there were only seven dollars for a big pot pie, and I got two. So and there's still like three quarters of one left over. So and I don't like the crust. I just go right for the inside. <laughs> Same with my with my fried fish and any beef pot pie. <laughs> if I don't like it, <laughs> I don't like the crust. I go right for the innards. Darn it, now I have to get out of bed and get food. You guys always do that to me. <laughs> yes, every time food is involved. <laughs> Could be sushi, though. Miss Cross, the simple life. <laughs> yeah. But it's your birthday dinner on Thursday, and we got uh, rice. We got rice taffel. Delicious. Okay, what is rice taffel? I like rice, so I'd be down for it if there's no bell peppers. Have to take shadow. Oh, don't draw until I'm back, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Roasted chicken pot pie. Ribs. Ooh, there we go. My eldest would like me to make him a quilt with figures from Mary and Lady. Oh, that sounds fun. That's fun. That's one of Marcus's favorite games was Mary and Luigi. Like the Mario Kart. Mario Kart for sure. Is that a pinwheel? Did I pinwheel that? I did pin them. Okay, all right. So those two go together. Those two go together. Okay. Hello, Miss Melissa. Miss Cross. Practically creative. Sorry, I said the wrong one there. Bad, 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 bad. I'm trying to make pixelated Mario for son. Lots of little squares. Yes, definitely. Meatloaf for dinner tomorrow. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Come on over. <laughs> I can see Lois having a nice big barbecue at her place. Barbecue. She knows again, and then there's another wasp. Oh, my goodness. But they've been laying uh, fertilizer in the field, too, so every now and again you get a little whiff of something. All right, now to finish our pinwheels to top off our beautiful little wreath. So excited. So excited. Dun, 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 dun. Nothing like a pink and purple wreath to show it's Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Who says it has to look Christmassy to be Christmas, Christmas? Cause the spirit is within, don't you be chagrined. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Tech Bush, how you doing? Nice to see you here. Nice to see you. 
Uh, I'm painting my nails and taking a break. Oh, very nice. You could always make pinwheels on top of geese. Uh, pinwheels on top and geese on the back. Yeah, I could. I could. But I'm going to follow what Pop said. So He said to follow the pattern, so I will follow the pattern. But it doesn't mean I'll do that on the second one. Lord, I took a nap. <laughs> April Green, do you feel better? Do you feel better? Sometimes you lay down and the other day I went and laid down. I just, I wasn't feeling all that great. Uh, you know, womanly monthly cycle thingy was starting and I was cramping up. So uh, I went to go lay down and I felt like I didn't even lay, fall asleep. Like I really, I just laid there and it was just like, whatever. Oh, thank you, Georgina. Big hugs to you. Thank you. Thank you for the sponsorship. Thank you very much. That helps uh, renew supplies here in the quilt shop. We just had to get Pop a new monitor for his section, so that certainly it, it certainly does help. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Totally got sidetracked. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, shiny object. Hi, Melania. How you doing? Hello, June. Well done on good prices. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, expl yeah, yeah, explanation. Enter, enter. Okay, let's do our little pinwheels. Oh, uh, just doing the the, uh, the pattern pop. What the way pop said to do was just to follow the follow the instructions. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Exclamation! Enter to enter. And of course, if you found any other block you wanted to make that was what's going to be five inches, or probably squared up to four and a half, maybe I don't know. Doesn't really say, does it? Okay, itchy foot. I don't think so. Okay, so. So here's our pin. We are, hold on, overhead. There we go. So there's our beautiful wreath. Oh my gosh, isn't that just the cutest? Who wouldn't want a nice pretty Christmas wreath like that? Totally. Okay, so now, whether you're top or bottom, we're going to put our pinwheels right up in here. Four and then five. That'll scoot along there. Isn't that nice? It's going to be so pro. Love it, love it, love it. Going bird watching, hoping to see a roadrunner. Very nice. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. So is the family coming out to celebrate with you for your anniversary, Miss Allison? Uh, I guess you're doing better. You uh, went two days uh, dropping glass bowl and plate and glass and breaking them. Got to think, Suzanne. Oh boy. Time to invest in uh, Tupperware. Oh my goodness. I have to leave. If I win, give it to some other deserving. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Jackie M, welcome to the chat. We're not drawn until Pop gets back and he's, he's wandered off somewhere. Oh, oh. And the wind's been blowing like crazy today. Aw, thank you, Georgina. We appreciate it. And uh, you get a chance if, when you when you join the club, either it's there via this one or via the guild member website where you get more perks. Uh, you get a chance to win, and this is the project we just finished up for our guild members. So if they get to, if one person gets to pick that or gets to win that, and then they get to tell me they get to pick their batting, their backing, the quilting, what colored quilt, how they want it quilted, is all part of my gift to them. So... Thank you very much for helping out and enjoying, enjoying our channel. It is greatly appreciated. And we've reached our next 12 hour goal. So we will be, uh, Pop's gonna put up a poll on the YouTube webpage. So make sure you uh, uh, take a look at the poll. I think this will be our first poll be interesting um and uh then you can vote for your time zone it's from 9 a.m to 9 p.m 
in whichever time zone and whichever one gets the 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 most uh, uh hits because you can only vote once then uh that's the one we will do it in miss sassalette is really hoping for her time zone <laughs> australia and i think mike is voting with her so <laughs> okay i'm back the wind is horrible oh i'm sorry to hear that sorry to hear that we're almost done our pinwheels for the top and it looks like mr pop is back as well good timing uh, to, to, so uh, that's all, just that you were back. Okay. We wouldn't be doing a draw until you were back, I said, so obviously. I okay. uh, love the non-traditional colors. Thank you very much, Miss Joanne. Thank you very much. I was like humming and hawing, but I'm like, I'm going to get some slack from this from some people, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to do things your way. <laughs> do it my way. Don't have plastic? Uh oh, Nancy. You may have to invest in some if your husband's dropping them all the time. You don't want to be using all the glass. Glass hurts. Glass hurts. Glass bites. We got some pin. Wait, why is that so? What? What? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you do you actually have to cut off a pinwheel? No. Why does it look like it's cut off there? How is that does not measure out to the same? Am I that poor on my seam allowances? No, those are in quarter. Those are quarters. What did I do wrong here? This says it's 15 and a half. And this says it's 17. So I'm an inch and a half out. Does it actually say to trim? Because it looks like one's trimmed up here. Sew five pinwheel units together and add a fabric D. Do you want to, to okay the put together blocks four create to create blocks two of four to create pinwheel units as shown. Just move something down the sides of the. It, but it has it after the fact, hun. Yeah, I did notice that it does, have, but it has it after the fact. So I may have to adapt just a little bit now because I don't want to chop up my pinwheels. And if I do an inch and inch on either side, then it gives me three quarters and three quarters, which covers the inch and a half. So that's what I'm going to have to do. Yeah, I am going to have to, Heli, because I'm not cutting. I'm not, I'm not cutting my beautiful, my, no way, Jose. Like, what the heck? That doesn't make, and I followed the destructions. So I don't know why it's not coming out to being. The order wrong. I'm sorry? They put the order wrong. Yeah, it doesn't look like that though, honey. Yeah, that's okay. Well, I know it doesn't look like that. I said they did the order wrong. Yeah. Uh, two inches. I did trim them up there, Kathleen. I even trimmed them up. So I did. I trimmed them up to two. So, well, maybe somewhere a little bit bigger than two. Uh oh. Maybe that's where I I I, I got my extra seam allowance. That's okay. We're gonna adapt it. <laughs> Why? Because we can't. <laughs> okay, let's make sure we're not using anything we don't need here. Okay. So what's this piece? Hey, Linda Lindsay. Oh yeah, we got, we got, we got, we got it. Okay, let's just put a strip on either side. Then we'll trim it up. We're adapting. I'm not cutting any pinwheels. Yeah, adapt and overcome. Exactly. It won't look any different. It's not going to change away from But if I cut the pinwheel, it would. That would be like, what? What are you doing? Don't be a dark. Okay, this is inch and a half, but it's leftover cuts from the other bit. So I'm just going to use that and then just trim off. And I'm sure maybe if I would have make sure they were all two inches instead of, oops, sorry, just trimming off their little tails, that probably was where I went wrong. But I'm fine to adapt. I got more fabric if I need to trim, do other things that are a little bit longer or different. So 
not too worried about it. Alright, trim this up. 15. Or sorry, 17. I think it'll look better with the extra. I think so too. Adaption. We cannot direct the wind. We can just do, adjust the sails. Exactly. <laughs> good. Good point. Good point. Okay. Flippy flew over here. Oh, Janine's leaving. Gotta head out. Enjoy. Oh, looking forward to me too, Miss Janine. Me too. Actually, before you go, let's do let's do the draw. I know we're not done the project yet, but let's do, let's do the draw. Let's do the, let's do the draw for the for the for the other pumpkin. Okay, now we need a strip. Button pushed. Awesome. Carrie Richards, if you're in the chat, Carrie Richards, tell me where you're at. Carrie Richards. We need one more strip. Richard, Richard sorry, Richard. Bad, bad, bad. Sorry. Also sorry. She's got to say something, though. You got to be here to win. You got to be here to win. Ring a ding ding. Got to be here to win. Here, let's trim this one first to the 17 we need. Mm -hmm. Here's open. Here's open. She pops up. Hello, Donna. How you doing? All right, let's do... Just need a little trimmy trim trim off each side. Just a little. Just a little trimmy trim trims. Off each side. No, Carrie, so far, no, it doesn't seem like, is she actually in the chat? Like, if we at her? Yes, if, I did. She, oh, popped it at her? Okay. Oh, 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 yeah, say something. Say something, Miss Carrie. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, what a mess. Okay, who dumped all the half square triangles on the floor? Mm. Trying to tidy things up around here, people. <laughs> How am I supposed to keep it tidy, space if people are making a mess? <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm glad you're lurking. Turkey lurking. It's free, too. And pretty. Free and pretty. My two favorite things. Try harder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try harder to blame somebody else for my problems. <laughs> okay, let's sew <laughs> strip on either side of our uh, pinwheels. <laughs> it was me. Yeah, patterns in this description, and it's free. A free, a free, a free. Sorry, honey. Assuming she's not here. I, I guess she she must be stepped away. But we got to, uh, we got it. We got to uh, pick another name. So if it's been the two minutes. Then we'll just have to keep on trucking. Are you in the chat, Miss Karen Mewis? Mm 
This is so hard to tell on this one. Okay, here we go. I think we got it. Now here's hoping she's here. Oh, there she is! Yay! Congratulations! Now all the winners know, you know what you gotta do. Send an email to Pop, tell me what you want, so I don't forget. I'm old, I lose things, I lose myself, I lose my head if it wasn't attached. Oh, thank you, Miss Practically Creative. Thank you very much. Big hugs to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We've reached our, our goal for our next 12 hours, and we're super excited to be working on the project we'll be working on and be able to give it away to one of you guys who hangs out with us on that 12 hours. So, And you get a choice of your backing, your batting, your quilting, all done by me, and no extra charge for you, not even postage for you. Because we care. And we love you. Because you are special, you are wanted, you are loved, you are cared for. And that's how we want to show you how we care for you. Okay, so there's my pinwheel. Sorry, I forgot to show it. There's my pinwheel. Let's go over here for a moment. There we go. Okay, it's my pinwheel. <laughs> I love my wreath. It's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, oh, so, oh, you got a choice. Okay, so, 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 so. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I did a stuffed 3D pumpkin. So I have a small one here. Not small, it's just a cut, a smaller cut. So you could, I could either give you this one. See how it's all 3 dd I stuffed, I stuffed that pumpkin. Or you can have the, the ones a little bit bigger. So you tell me which one you want. And I'll make sure it's yours. Okay, I'll send it off to you. But you have to kind of like finish it off, sorry. <laughs> this is one of those like, you know, work at home projects. I do some, you do some, we work on it together, you know. <laughs> Teamwork. Teamwork makes a dream work. Okay, okay. So tell me which one you would like. <laughs> Miss Karen. Hey Roxanne, thank you. Thank you for reminding people if they, they like what they see and they got going on here. Please give a big old thumbs up and possibly even, you know, becoming a member. Because I know you have to be subscribed if you're chatting. So. Alright, here's our pinwall part going on. Kita, how are you doing? It does feel like forever. Where have you been keeping yourself? Where have you been keeping yourself? Oh, this is going to be so darn cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, did she pick? No, not yet. No, no, I don't see. I don't see a pick yet. Okay, like seriously? Oh my goodness. And then we just have to do a little pinwheel set for the bottom. Too darn cute! Oh my goodness! So, tie up. Tie down. Tie, uh, tie all around. Hey, this would make a perfect placemat. Something like that. A little maybe, ooh, you put it down the side, turn your little bobbin, whatever. Oh yeah, only limitation is your imagination. Mm, so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's do the other. Maybe we should. No, no. We'll do it the same because for the top one we've already adjusted to. So let's just let's just uh, keep keep her going. Keep her going at the same pace, you know. Eh? Okay. Cheers. Happy Happy Saturday. It is fast and it's super easy to cut. You can do it with a couple of fat quarters. Um, the most fabric you're going to need is your backing. You can even piece that too. A couple of flannel Christmassy chunks and you know, who's going to care, right? It's up against the wall or a, a fabric you don't really care for, but it makes a nice backing. So yes, definitely. 
Mm, the plate got me? Uh oh. Oh my gosh. It, ooh, it just it got you in the end. It just had to have you. Yeah, well, okay, we're just going to do it my way. Because <laughs> it worked so well the first time around. Right, let's lay these guys out. Place them at five. I need to do that way. Making sure. Yes, it is. Uh, did she say? Uh, she didn't. Okay, you gotta tell me what 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 one you like there, Karen. Or we'll just randomly. Pick or I'll just randomly say. But you have to send your email to or your uh, mailing address to Pop, or I can't get it to you. So. You gotta make sure you're gonna make sure you do that, okay, Karen? Or it's hard to mail things if I don't have an address. Don't Sorry? Don't say. No, I, I did say. Uh oh, did I? I feel like I'm. That's okay. I probably just didn't count enough. So cute and great holiday Christmas gifts. Uh, that's what my plan is for the next few weekends. Uh, obviously, nothing really too, too planned for Pop's birthday and my birthday. Uh, that's in a couple weeks. Uh, I guess Pop's would be two weeks today, and mine will be three weeks today. So um, you got you got two birthday weekends, one for, one for Pop and one for me. So And we'll be celebrating big time with Pop because he'll be 50. Finally catches up to this old bitty. <laughs> He's been running for years, but I finally caught him. <laughs> yeah, happy early birthday, Pop. Yeah, nice, nice big one. We were feeling so tired and just so mentally exhausted. And I think in our travels, we might have caught a little bit of a bug. I'm not sure. It just We were just so exhausted. And then from... From packing up and moving and then driving across Canada and then setting back up was just, it was almost too much. I kind of wish we had a little bit more time in between, but, you know, you got to get things done. You can't, you know, dilly-daddle, right? So um, it was uh, definitely getting ourselves in order and uh, trying to sort us out to the, put the, to the point where we could uh, move and function. But unfortunately, that was like after our birthday, so we didn't really too much they celebrated last year i was feeling horrible my belly was hurting so bad there was i didn't even cook pop his favorite meal i think he i did make chocolate cake but it was and because he wasn't feeling fantastic either it's like you know so, oh, yeah, yeah. But this year's different we're all we're much better we're feeling better we're not so tired <laughs> not so tired just so tired but not so tired Uh, a bigger pumpkin. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Miss Lois. I missed it. Uh, I missed it. Thank you, thank you. The bigger pumpkin. Okay, got it. Got it. Appreciate the help. Okay, so let's put that off to the side. Okay, we'll put them both up, but I know, I know it's a big one. Okay, two pumpkins given away. One for you, one for me. Mm, and then, well, I think so. I think so. Actually, um... Uh, what was, uh, uh, my sweatshirt the other day started a conversation in the grocery store <laughs> about quilt retreats, so that was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's separate our pinwheels. Give them a little press, and then we'll finish the last of this quilt project up. <laughs> Packing, moving is a lot. It can be. It it totally did, Cindy Wall. And we were so tired to begin with, and it was just so much. And then driving, and then, you know, and then getting here, and not getting good enough sleep, and the beds were weird, and we were sleeping separate because I hurt my. I fell. I fell the first day of travel. I slept really badly and fell and 
uh, hit my bum and my hip on a, a speed bump, a cement speed bump. So I was not sleeping well or sitting well or anything. So sitting in a car traveling for, you know, eight to 10 hours a day was really not ideal, but we did it anyways. <laughs> Hello, Miss Colleen. How you doing? Oh no, not air selling. That's the worst. <laughs> it's the worst. All right, pinwheel time. We're making pinwheel time. Cheers. Just water. But I'm packing for a week now. But yeah, well, that's what I mean. We still got boxes in the living room sometimes. It was, uh, uh, you know, a few things. Though they're for other projects. But and it's best they just stay in the box so they don't get lost. But <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here. Um, so, yeah, I can relate to that. And, you know, we still would like to find our waffle maker. We haven't found our waffle maker yet. <laughs> I miss waffles. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that would be a big... Big, big expense that's not really necessary. I just have to, you know, be consciously aware that, you know, you got to go, you got to go, and I got to run to the house. So, but no, I don't think so. If we were to, like, rebuild another building, yeah. And if, like, it had to, say, the retreat up top and the quilt shop stuff below, that would be a different story. So, but that's for future, future quilt shop plans. I actually thought of that. Actually, I have no pro no qualms with that at all, Miss Practically Creative. Not at all. I don't. I have no no issues using an outhouse. You got to go. You got to go. Are you kidding? I used to move without thinking about the work, but last time, thirteen years ago, was hard. So no more moving for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. If you can help it, yeah. I hope this is our last like big big move like anywhere. We are packing to move to the uh, move the end of the month, and I'm tired. I hear you, Donna. Boy, do I hear you. I feel your pain. <laughs> <coughs> Hello, Krista Sos. How you doing? I moved into my apartment at the end of May. I have more boxes uh, still unpacked than unpacked. <laughs> that did become a process for a while here. <laughs> Especially when it just wasn't feeling so well. There's a lot of things didn't get unpacked until like December. The necessities. And then it was like, okay, now we're missing things. I need this. I need this spatula. Where's my soup spoon? You know, those sorts of things. It was like, okay, go looking. And I just tried to make it so I conquer at least one box, if not two boxes a day. And then still try to get all my other stuff done because there was just stuff in the shop I had to do. And right, so. But yeah, you do have to give yourself time and a grace period for, you know, <coughs> unpacking. Sorry. them yeah we are actually we're the 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 trans canada trail runs right through our property so through lots of people's property here and they use it and there's people who live next door to us that actually use our backyard their back part to get to their part I'm fine with it. I don't care. I'm just, you know, I've seen people walking their dogs. I've seen people out hiking. I've seen, I've seen other, obviously, critters and animals. Boxes in the living room. Yeah. Allison knows the boxes when you were here are still there. <laughs> Miss 
Gwynny is today. I have to see Miss Gwynny. All right, so these together. I must have boxes everywhere in the apartment. And they're just easy to somehow accumulate. And unless you, if you really don't think you need the stuff in it, it's easy just to kind of put it off to the side and go, mm, whatever. I need it, I'll go looking. So I say if you had your material all cut, you could probably get this project sewn together in less than two hours. And then just some simple quilting around the wreath, maybe in the stitch in the ditch on the lines between the um, pinwheels, and done. And done. So that's not bad. You can probably, and if you pre-cut a few, you could probably get maybe two or three done in a few hours, right? If you if you're pre-cutting everything and and just you're just focused on getting all those half tri square triangles done, and then all those you know wreath part done, and then you know just focusing on with the task. I'm sure you can get quite a few of them done, and you get some nice uh, tasks or gifts off your list for someone special. You want to make them something, but you don't want to have the time or the money for a big quilt. Bust your scraps. These pinwheels could be totally different colors, Christmas colors, right? They can be uh, red and gold and green and uh, silver and blue and what have you, right? You can use snowflakes or just using all your Christmas scraps, making them all scrappy. Okay, now press in here. <coughs> Did you see if we were supposed to get rain today? I don't know. Looks like it's clouded over, but... I, just, I, went, I meant to read the, the forecast and forgot. And forgot! I just knew it was sunny. Sunny and nice. Miss Wendy K said to say hi, and she is a... Oh, very nice! Guild today. Very nice. There's, a, there's actually a couple faces missing. They got, like, some retreats and birthday parties and stuff. I know Elizabeth, uh, one of her, she's helping one of her granddaughters move, so that's pretty exciting. I'm sorry? No rain till Monday. No rain till Monday. Oh, very nice. Okay. Well, that's good. <clears throat> It is fairly easy. It, it really is. There's nothing, I, I, I mean, one pager, one pagers of instructions, not, not hard at all. Not hard at all. all right, I'm going to put a pin at the top and then a pin at the bottom. And that way I know that fabric isn't going to shift. <coughs> uh, yeah, you could totally make it go with your decor, whatever you had going on, right? I was making this to match Sassolette's decor so I could send it along with her bag as a surprise. Hmm? Not anymore. Well, she's probably not listening. <laughs> she's probably about asleep. Blues and silvers, yes, yes. You know what, uh, Roxanne, I, I didn't necessarily have a fight with the customer, but I was doing something Christmassy, a uh, tree skirt. And she said, oh, make me a Christmas tree skirt. And I'm like, okay, sure. Uh, it should be in the description below there, Krista. Just look down below. Um, yeah, there's no green. Uh, and I had a customer say to me that blue was not Christmas. Because I had made it up and just kind of like... St uh, pinned a few things on like applique wise I, I just pinned it because I wanted to make sure that's where she wanted it if she wanted something bigger or smaller or whatever and um and she she I, and I was like oh oh okay like, blue does not belong in Christmas uh so I had to like change my plan because there was a lot of blue and silver going on in this project <laughs> so <laughs> I'm loving the quilt behind you and it keeps catching my eye it's part of the paid guild member project there and craft a simple life so it's, it's, it's the, the latest uh, finished complete, well, finished top, anyways. Uh, Pop will have the video up probably next week for everybody to figure out who the winner is. And 
you know, unfortunately, you won't get to see that unless you're part of the paid guild member stuff. No, that's okay. Don't, it's all right. No, no, no worries. We try. We always try to put the free one in the the description thingy below. Always, always, always. And I always try and find free ones because I am a very frugal person. I don't have a lot of money to be spending on patterns, um, so I try to try to find some free ones. But you know, if you got a nice pattern, and you're trying to support a, a a shop or a person who's designing it, then by all means, don't 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 not purchase it. Okay, so now we're gonna put our pimples at the bottom and then our stripes down the side. And that seals this all up. Oh, so pretty. Oh my goodness, this is just so adorable. Adorable. I love silver and red. Personally, I love blue and silver for Christmas. Yeah, I see. I always thought uh, it was supposed to be blue and silver, right? So, <laughs> see, I told you she wasn't there. <laughs> She's got no clue. <laughs> yeah. And a couple little pieces down the side. Yeah, you could totally have this project done in about two hours. I mean. I've been fiddling and faddling and stuff, so, you know. But I think a good time with it, right? You know? It's good. It's, hey, if you got the fabric and you want to spend a couple hours working on a gift for somebody, this is definitely the one, a, a, a project to do. So. Hey, Fizz! Welcome here! I'm glad you're here! Welcome to be here. Oh my gosh, isn't that just the cutest? Oh my goodness. Get you in the festive season. Up or down or all around. I feel like I'm I'm dressing. I'm dressing for dinner, people. I'm ready. <laughs> ready for food. Up, up, up. Grub, grub, grub. <laughs> It looks amazing! That is so cute. I am so happy with the colors I chose to do it in. The pinks and the purples. Oh, the white. Too cute. Too cute! Uh, right now, working on blue and silver Carpenter's Corner Christmas themed uh, from Robert Kaufman. I'm loving it. So I'll have to look that one up there, Roxanne. It is cute, isn't it? Nice apron. Oh, it could. It could be. Well, hold on. Give it a little hand. A little just add a little extra for the sides. Could be all right. <laughs> it could be all right. All right, now let's see what this ends up being because I cut my other pieces. Oh, uh, 26 or okay. Need to cut two. One and a half times 26. It's adorable. I love it. Absolutely love it. So you could actually make this piece on the side a little bit thicker if you wanted to. You could make it like a two and a half -er, or key stay with the one and a half -er, whatever you like. You can have the drawing. Oh, we've already done it, Mike. Sorry. Sorry, Mike. Other people had to go, so <laughs> we needed to adjust. We needed to adjust. Don't wanna be a fuss. All right. All right, 26. And then we're gonna bind it with the wreath, the wreath color. Love coming here, you cheer me up so much. Make me like, well, thank you, Fizz. I appreciate that. Just my crazy self, ma'am. Just ask these people. They've been around for a long time, some of them. <laughs> Actually, that's a good question. Uh, when did some of you find us? When did you, some of you find the Mama Pop Quilt Shop? Well, uh, was it a certain video or was it a certain project? Or did we just pop up in your feed like some crazy person or? 
said, hey, you're a crazy person. You might like this crazy person. Not that I'm calling you a crazy person. I'm just saying, you know, people I like, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Can you relate? Please tell me I cut the right side. Oh, I did. Oh, I did. So happy right now. Purely accidental. <clears throat> Disney got nothing on up. I was thinking one of my happy places. Aww. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's so nice of you to say that. Love your. I th right, Della. Totally out there on the color. Just go wing it, ding, ding it. Why not? Pick something that's cute and fun and just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Talked about you think it was about, oh really oh thanks Wanda searching for a video on hanging in oh that's right there Miss Ellie that was the one I gave my mom that one it was that was a fun project uh, you might change the pinwheels to friendship oh you could that's a good idea Nina pinwheels to friendship stars that'd be nice you could really do any four inch block in there if you want to do some like tiny stuff you were popping up on my YouTube feeds and liked you so subbed right oh thank you thank you. I googled the quilt block and your video came up and was over a year ago. Maybe a little touched. <laughs> you just popped up. Oh, are you? Many years ago when I was researching attic window, I came across you making up attic window. Oh, the, the snowman's. Very nice. You popped up, made me laugh, decided this was my kind of place. There you go, Tracy. <laughs> I was looking up tree skirts four years ago and your Dresden popped up. Oh, nice. Mutual crazy person. What, honey? Oh, I thought you said something. You pop up on my feed a few years ago. Oh, I heard from another channel. Okay, all right. I know we've uh, got a few people, but that was like years and years ago. Um, I did an interview with um, Leah Day. So, and I know a lot of people actually quite, they, they made her known to me. I mean, her, me known to her, whatever. Because uh, I was suggested by someone else uh, for um, talking to long armors. So, or new long armors or something like that. So, yeah, that was a, that was a fantastic, scary situation. I couldn't believe when I got the email. I'm like, oh my gosh, Leah Day wants to talk to me? Leah Day wants to talk to me. What? <laughs> Leah Day wants an interview. <laughs> Does she, does she even know who I am? <laughs> uh, so since your hair was long, yeah, that was a while ago. You make sewing. Oh, thank you, Valerie Creech. I really appreciate that. I really try to make it as easy as possible. I think it was Tiffany or Becca as they put out a shout. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice to know. Back in the day, new channels popped up and your, and your first one was the one I saw. Then I stayed and that was 15 or 16. It must have been 16 because we've only been out since 16. February. February of 16. So we just celebrated six years. We'll be coming up on seven in February. So. Aw, thank you, Miss Helly. I appreciate it. I was so nervous. I think I cried. I think I cried before, after, and possibly even during that interview. <laughs> I'm a chicken. <laughs> I don't like stressful situations like that. <laughs> Thank you for all your feedback. I know I missed a lot, but I will read it over. Thank you. Just, just kind of curious. It was, it was it a certain project or was it like the, the personality? Gosh, it was so many years ago that I don't remember. I looked for a long time before I ever said anything. I think so, Miss Lee Allen. Yeah, I think when we had our video chat, when you run the the Scrappy Green Star project, that was that was that was a, that was one of my favorites. I just love the rainbow kaleidoscope kind of look to that project with that green fabric. Your fan? I don't know. Infamous, maybe. No, <laughs> I wouldn't know about famous though. All right, we are done this little quilt top project. Um, 
you were great during the interview. Uh, you've always been very enjoyable to listen to. Oh, thank you, Carol Lawrence. I appreciate that. <coughs> A blue quilt? Oh, the blue, probably blue scrappy. That, that was the block of the month from uh, last year. Yeah, 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 2021. Yes, I remember that. Yep, yep, that was a good fun project to put together. The blue block scrappy, scrappy blue block of the month. Was the only channel get out on godly hours. <laughs> well, I'm glad you do it too, there, Miss Sass. I really am. I'm glad all of you join us, whatever your time, whatever your zone, wherever you may be. If you come and hang out with us, we greatly appreciate you. And there she done. I don't think it takes away that little bit of strip on the side to even it out for my pinwheels. So it's slightly bigger than what they said it was going to be. So I'm a 19er instead of 17 and a half. And it should be 26 and 20 instead of 25 and a half. Yeah. <laughs> I love those colors. Oh my goodness. So cute. Mm. It's the insanity that keeps coming back. <laughs> okay, who's insanity? Your insanity or mine? Where are we going with this, Cindy Wall? Huh? Huh? Where are we going with this? <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> so for next time. <laughs> it turned out amazing. Isn't that nice? I'm making a huge Christmas tree skirt. Oh. I think I, I, think I saw that one the other day when I was moving stuff. I'll have to bring it out. Started watching over a year ago. It's pretty, isn't it? I love the 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 pinks and the purples. Like it doesn't it doesn't mean it doesn't read Christmas. It's just a wreath. It's a wreath. Do whatever you like with it, right? It is very pretty. It's very pretty. Very nice. I, I'm I think, thinking about making one for myself, too. I'm actually kind of sad I didn't cut more when I had the fabric out. So, but, yes. Loving it. Free pattern. Uh, add spark. You, it's actually used a sparkle fabric. So, if you had some, like, really fun, funky fabric that you wanted to use but didn't want to maybe use a lot of it or didn't want to work a lot with it, definitely you could use that for your pinwheels and your bow, for sure. I don't see why not. And like I say, you could make it a little bit bigger. And to me, it seems like a pretty big placemat, but for giants, maybe not so much. <laughs> or if you want to make sure everybody's got their proper allotted space at the dinner table, <laughs> this is what you lay. But you can put your wreath bow the other ways, right? As your first, first side to side. <laughs> kind of almost looks like a little bow in the hair. You know what I mean? Like a little, little hair bow. Hella cute. <laughs> That'd be, that'd be a, that would be a very nice big, uh, e even just a, a table, table runner, you know. Very cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, laughter is definitely good. Good for the soul. Make a little bit of make a pillow. You could make a pillowcase. I don't know if I would want to put my head on a textured pillowcase like that, though. Not, not for me. But maybe if it's just for the couch or something, that's okay. No, not all, not at all bow for the hair. <laughs> no, it's way too big a bow for the hair. <laughs> Especially if I had hair. <laughs> I don't really. <laughs> Put a little clip here. <laughs> little goof goof. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions about this project? It is listed below. It's literally one piece pattern. That's our goal till just before Christmas is to have a fun little project. You can finish up in the weekend, make a couple of them as gifts for people, keeping your project list low, not making big quilts or big wall hangings or anything else like that, doing something relatively easy enough to handle within a weekend or maybe even a night of, of crafting. You get it done and you've got gifts for people, even if it's just for yourself, right? So make, some, make something special. 
you know, if you got siblings, make them all so they all match, or you can put a family initial center in the center here, or embroider tiny name up at the top. You could, you know, do do whatever. You put a little initial down in the bottom corner. There's so many different different things you can definitely do with this project. Right. You can write Merry Christmas, put candy canes, use the Christmas fabric. So. Uh, a friend had a stroke and I was looking for patterns for wheelchair and walker bags found your video and I was hooked. Oh, that was the one I made for my mom. Yeah, because she <clears throat> my mom was was she, she passed away in 2020. So um, she was as tall as she was wide. And I, I kid you not Papa Munchkin will definitely swear to this if you ever see if you ever seen her. She was as tall as she was wide. So when she had her wheel custom wheelchair made for her because her, you know, caboosey boosey was a little bit bigger than than some. Um, that it needed to sit a certain way where her person that was pushing her could get to it as well as she could get to it. So I made like certain loops and then zipper pouches so her, you know, wallet and her phone and, you know, stuff like that would all fit in it. So, uh, well, thanks for a sudden urge to fix the roof. I missed it all, but thank goodness for replay. <laughs> Whoops. I'm sorry. You missed the replay. I missed the, missed the show. It, it, you know, you could do a few of these. I think if you did like another one and did another set and another set and another set, make a nice long quilt or make it just with the, the wreath itself and turn it into a pillow. Um, there's many ideas. Like take, take the inspiration and run, right? Big springtime wreath. Yeah, I actually would too. Yeah, uh, for the pinks, like almost uh, Valentine's Day-ish, sort of with the pinkiness, but... No, this, this, this one is going to go to uh, Miss Sasselet. I chose the fab fabrics just for her. And I'm going to finish quilting, get it quilted and finish up. And I'm going to mail it off in her little tote bag that she won. So, uh, yes, I appreciate appreciate her uh, hosting the Zooms on the Tuesdays and Thursday nights. Uh, it is greatly appreciated. So this is my little thank you to her. So, And hopefully she likes it and is not sleeping right now or in the potty. So, <laughs> And I'm probably going to... Um, just use, I, I may choose Christmas fabric for the back, but I'm not sure. So, um, we'll see, we'll see what she says. If she, if, if she, if she has a thought on it, I know she has thoughts, but <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I, I think, uh, Sean, the guy who sews is doing a live or a quilt along or a chat along or something like that. So you could always go check out his channel. I'm not sure what's going on there. I think it should be going, it probably started about half an hour ago. So we kind of a little bit, uh, uh, later today. Yes, it is Miss Sass. It is for you. Um, so, uh, hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you very much for joining us. We greatly appreciate every single one of you. Big hugs to you. Thanks for entering the giveaway. Thanks for appreciating the crafty art of fabric and a good social environment where we can all get along and share good things. So, thanks everybody. Big hugs to you. Yeah, I think it's a Zoom meeting, uh, Miss Heather, a Jeffrey Quilter. Yeah, yeah. So, go check out and support Mr. Sean, the guy who sews, if you can. Not telling you what to do. See you soon. <laughs>